It's Functionized Podcast time. This is your mad scientist, Jim, and we have a fun podcast ahead of you today. We are going to be doing a dual podcast with John Levine, Holistic Health Coaching of Whole Truth Health. That's H-O-L for holistic, truth health. John also has a podcast, and today it's going to be a dual podcast. You can hear this podcast on Whole Truth Health, or the one you're hearing on right now, at Functionized Podcast. A little bit about John. John has run the New York Marathon and New Jersey Marathon. He is also a four-time Ironman competitor, and he has completed a full Ironman in 2012 and three half Ironmans. John's a Jersey boy, married, three kids, and he has made the transition from pharmaceutical sales to real estate investor, and he's realized, like many of us, you need to follow your passion. Follow your passion to enjoy what you do and to be the best you every single day. So he studied holistic health and education and has become a certified holistic health coach. And on his podcast, On the Whole Truth, he educates, empowers, and entertains those seeking health and healing in their life. John likes to look at things from a functional standpoint, as we do here, and hence the crossover episode today. Without further ado, we're going to be talking about nutrition, supplements, and everything that is good. And a lot of what you're going to hear today is going to be taken from quite a different view. So sit back, enjoy the ride, take your moment. Take a screenshot of this podcast right here now, put it up on your story so we can follow you, comment, and be your fan, not just our fan. As always, any questions, ask, DM us, and we'd be more than happy to get back to you. And as always, this episode is sponsored by Functionized Integrative Therapeutics, www.functionizedfun.com. C-T-I-O-N-I-S-E-D dot com. Again, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N-I-S-E-D dot com. Home of the very unique Fit Lab. Get your entire workout in in 15 minutes or less, once a week. Efficient, effective, proven time and time again. And at Functionized Integrative Therapeutics, it is the weight loss specialists of the entire state of New Jersey. They have people coming from New York, Pennsylvania, all over the state, and also have customers and clients and patients internationally. Without further ado, let's hit the show. We have a full show, a full team, and a lot of fun in front of us. Here's the Functionized Podcast. Let's roll. Hi guys. Miles Ruff, I'm Dr. Mike. Hi Mike. Hi Jim, how are you? What's up, Dr. Mike? Beauty Brains Bruin? Yes, Dante's here. Dr. Dan's here. John Levine from The Whole Truth. And your mad scientist talking about nutrition, supplements, and everything that's good for us. So let's skip to what everyone wants to do and eat normal whole foods. And let's just go right to supplements. Because that's, really, right that's what everyone wants to do, right? So sure. Let's slam down the supplements. <laughs> we need the more of them, right? More so, so supplements are what tens of billions of dollars industry, right? Yeah, it is a huge industry today. Yes, so it is. There are some supplements that people talk about as being the staple, and then there's others that, well, they don't need to be the staple. Um, well, what are the staple ones? A lot of people will go with a multi. Uh-huh. They'll go with an mega, mm-hmm. vitamin D. Mm-hmm. Usually, those are the big, big three Bees. that I've seen. Probiotic. Some, some people think it be. Some you're right. Some I personally think probiotic. magnesium, but outside of that, figure I'd drop that now. Thanks. Get it out of the way. 
So, so, <laughs> so what's, what's, what's your staple though? Krill. Krill's a big one. I, I like krill. I like, uh, I actually take berberine at night. I want to live longer. What is it, berberine? Berberine with PQQ. I'm not too familiar with that. What is, what is berberine? So berberine, it's Oh, actually, berberine. Yeah. Berberine. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of individuals though say multi, multi, multi. I personally got to say I think that it's an overrated. I mean, if you are really just not eating at all, perhaps, but I mean, there's vitamins, minerals in there that are going to counteract each other. I know a lot of people say, oh, just give you one slam, but if you're eating a whole food, whole nutrition mm -hmm. diet, the point of having a multi might be a moot point and you might be flushing vitamins down the toilet. Everything I've always believed in, and everyone can tell me you're wrong, is test first. Uh, mm. let's, do, yeah. let's do some blood tests. Let's see, what are you, you could be fine in everything. No, or you're just wasting your money just pounding down these supplements because someone told you to or you read on doc, you know, Dr. Google said, go right ahead. Yeah. So, <laughs> so diet is always number one. Mm -hmm. And you want diet to be number one. You want to get your vitamins, your minerals, your nutrients from your diet. Supplements are just that. They're supplemental to what you're going to eat. And the way that I like to do it is you do a vitamin and mineral panel. And from there, you see what you are deficient in. And from there, you could then supplement with those specifics that you're deficient in instead of just kind of shooting in the dark. You know, as we say, if you're not testing, you're guessing. Right. So test for success, right? Test for success. And even if you know, the test does show it's low, a lot of things, especially back to the multivitamins, notorious for they're not in a form we can actually absorb. You know, at least most food, the reason why it's so good is it's in a form that we can metabolically break down. Otherwise, you're just putting something in and it becomes expensive urine. Like calcium is a huge part of it. So many times, especially multivitamins, they're just crushed shells. Mm -hmm. We're not absorbing any of it. It's got 300% of your daily calcium, but you're not getting an iota. Now that brings us to the next comment when it comes to supplements. Where are you getting your supplements? You want you want quality, quality, quality supplements. If you don't, if you're not getting quality, then it's you're just not it down the toilet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 something to say. Jump no, no, yeah, just a little bit. Well, that's <laughs> the. I want to talk. I want to talk. Supplement. <laughs> yeah. the, well, the industry is not regulated, so it's it's nuts. Mm -hmm. So you can go to GNC and these big box stores and. You don't know what you're getting, which to me is, is crazy because you can literally buy these things and there's wood fillers in there and there's all sorts of, like literally this is what they find. It's Especially jump in proprietary blend. They throw that in there, which means yeah. it can be anything we want it. Right. Fancy <laughs> way of saying a bunch of shit. Yeah. Um, so, and, and you know, you want to go get supplements. I, I, I personally believe in supplements, quality supplements, if it's tested, with, with, you know, with clinical studies. Stuff that, like, you know, a reliable company. And I work with one, I won't even say, I'm not pushing it, but uh, first of all, you want to eat real food. But I am not so sold on believing that you're going to get everything through food these days. Because I know some examples, quite frankly, of people who have had deficiencies and they have pretty good diets. So there's that, that's an argument as far as like the soil and what's in the soil. What's, 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 what's in the soil? soil anymore, it's been, yeah. it's been, the, the soil has been um, overutilized. There's nutrients that have been depleted. So you may not have as many nutrients as you have. So it's, it, that, that can become and an pesticides, issue. And pesticides, artificial right. fertilizers like are also Environmental factors as well. Huge. Even in the household, if there's mold, if there's yeah. some type of emotional <laughs> toxin even, that their body may become in that flame state, so they could yeah. have the picture perfect diet, and they're not getting all those nutrients. Right. To me, what makes a lot of sense is to test to know what you're dealing with. That that's very logical, um, and I think with supplements, what's very important is there's a lot of cheap supplements, and I have a, one of my best friends gets his supplements from I don't know Walmart or some place like that. <coughs> they're cheap, and I sell some supplements, and they're good supplements, and there's actual studies like clinical studies and they have in-house scientists lots of them and they have an independent scientist and like it's legit right and it's expensive so a multivitamin like that I take is $75 for like 30 day supply so most, a lot of people see that and they're like oh it's too expensive but they work mm -hmm. and you get what you pay for now you can buy $10 supplements for a month mm -hmm. which is what my friend does and 
he's literally pissing. It, it's garbage. It's, you know, whatever he's going in his body, who knows? So to me, you can look at it in a couple different ways. It's $75, which is what I pay, but I know what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. compared to $10, $15, and you have no clue what you're getting. And quite frankly, some of the stuff that may be in these supplements are going to hurt you, and probably will. As you said, proprietary blend, what does that mean? They're a proprietary blend of crapola, right? And people have no issues buying foods that are bad for them. You know, they'll spend $50 <laughs> on a meal that's full of absolute garbage pastas and everything yeah. else but you won't spend the money to buy a quality supplement right we were just talking the other day about Priorities, investing right? in your health our, our last podcast guest last week Tara Garrity she brought up the great point of if you want to know where your money's going open up your checkbook mm-hmm. yeah. I like to go out to restaurants I like the experience I'd like to sit on the water in the summertime <coughs> have an adult beverage, have a nice meal, and I really enjoy that. So that I see on my bank account is obviously a priority of mine. I also see a higher grocery bill sometimes <laughs> because I like to get the... Free range, grass-fed, right. wild-caught. Exactly. Right. And that's my own personal preference. Mr. Fancy Pants, huh? Yes. <laughs> hey, you can say a snob on that, but at the, the same time, it's, there we go. it's an investment in your health. It's right, I think, I think that's the important aspect of this is that it is an investment. Mm-hmm. So when a patient comes in to see me and perhaps they have some type of hyperlipidemia, their cholesterol is all over the place, and what happens is that it took time and money to get to that point, right? Mm-hmm. So then from there, if I say, okay, let's do this type of blood test, well, that may be some money. Okay, now you need to figure out where your money is going to go. Is it going to continue to go down this road, poor health, or is it going to be the investment into health? And that's what you want, is the investment into health, because that information we get, we can make some really good decisions. 100%, absolutely. Now there's... No, this is a change in mindset. Mm -hmm. It's a huge change in mindset, and a lot of people don't get that because you haven't brought up that way. Mm-hmm. They see what their parents are doing, so they're going to do it. And it really takes a lot of effort. There we go. Mm-hmm. That's effort. a cleaner word. Yes. Effort. Absolutely. <laughs> I like the cleaner words. Effort. <laughs> well, the effort word is the only thing that works. Right. See, see that's, that's a great word. You know why? Because that's the only thing that works. Right. It's the hard lifestyle medicine that works. That's what people don't want to do. They want to take the quick, quick cheap Tylenol pill society. Mm-hmm. Let me take a pill. That's what never works. Which is a great segue here into the next uh, supplement that I had on the list here called Fat Burners. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so people get fat and they want to take a pill. Yeah. That, that's really what it comes down to. And then you've got these individuals that step on stage yeah. <laughs> that look phenomenal and they endorse these fat burners that are claiming that they look that way just because they're popping this one little pill of a fat burner. If I got sponsored, I'd say that too. Of course. <laughs> so would I if I had sponsored. So what is... Shanti? We have to get you a sponsor. Oh, we, need yeah. to, <laughs> we need to, we need to find part you a sponsor. Part of Functionize, you get all the best care I here, do. you get to work out here, you get all the products here. What do you mean you're not sponsored? You get gear to wear? I Holy think crap. she's talking oh, more <laughs> in the line of major financial sponsor. Do you know how much it would cost her every <laughs> single month in what she receives at Functionize for her training? Millions, at least millions, no. You add it up, but yeah, I mean, she's getting like five, $6,000 a month. No joke here. Probably, for, yeah. So you know what? Go that way. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Team Functionize. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Team Functionize. <laughs> nice. So where were we? Oh, well, fat burners. Well, fat burners. There's, in fat burners, really comes. there are fat burners that have been shown to work. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of them that are bunk. A lot of them are filled with fillers to increase metabolism. You know, the Unfortunately, people are so jacked up on caffeine anyway, having a little extra caffeine doesn't really do them too much. But the ephedra, caffeine, aspirin, old school, does help speed the metabolism a little bit. All right. You probably saw this one coming as soon as you mentioned ephedra. i got to throw that one out there. That are they there's still been a lot of, You can get yeah, it. You can. At, you can. But they are still selling? Not typically. It is. You can mm-hmm. get it online. 
typically not over the counter at like a right. shop. I mean, it has been one. shown to cause heart issues down the road. I always we'll call it an emotional compound to it because I was born to congenital heart issues, so okay. I'll never touch this stuff. It does work. Uh, the research shows it will. It's work hundreds forever. of years of Chinese medicine. It clears your sinuses. Mm -hmm. But with the issues is that people a, are having, is careful. Abuse. Ask your yes. competent medical professional to make sure you're using it. If you're taking a thousand milligrams a day with Yohimbi and caffeine and some <laughs> aspirin on top of that and <laughs> other, you're going you're to, to have some problems. You're going to wind up in the hospital. <laughs> Correct. I did, in fact, at one time, wind up in the hospital. I took one of the fat burners and had a little cup of coffee. And this was going back. I'm practicing 30 years. It's going back 29 years. Next thing you know, and I'm working on a patient, and my heart is racing, mm -hmm. and I'm sweating, and there was a Nassau County cop that was I was treating, and he looked up at me and goes, come on, we're going to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the hospital, and I'm, I'm like lying there, and I got the IV, and it was, uh, it was scary. It was scary. Obviously. I mean, infant stages of nutrition also back then. There are ways to kind of hack your fat burner. I mean, people are taking fat burners and walking around and going about their day and thinking that's like their workout. And that's, I think, what they're often missing. Do and the workout to increase your metabolism, there's your own built-in fat burner. Right. Just having a healthy metabolism. Then a couple hours it. later, if you utilize a fat burner on top of that, then it'll increase your <coughs> post-exercise oxygen <coughs> consumption, and it'll keep that metabolism going a, a bit longer, longer and aid it. Again, it's a supplement, not a... Solution. Exactly. Who's using fat burners in this room right now? Anyone? No Who's fat burners. No fat burners? No burners of fat. No burners of fat. I had the weighted burners vest. Of fat, uh, I put the weighted vest oh, on my cardio. So if you want to get that's, that. that is a fat burner. That is a fat burner. <laughs> love the weighted vest. A long, slow uh, cardio on the Stairmaster for an hour with the weighted vest will do it. Other that will do it. Yeah. Other makes you question a lot of things in life. <laughs> <laughs> other fat burners that have been shown to work are the not for human consumption, uh, clenbuterol Clen. or albuterol. Mm -hmm. Albuterol has a shorter half life, but oh, pretty the much asthma, the exact the same asthma medication. Asthma medication. Yeah. Take yeah. it. Sure. You can breathe it in, but that does increase. If you, if a child ever needs albuterol and goes through the breathing treatment, they may start to get a little jacked up uh, which towards the end of it. Seen which we've seen because our daughter, you know, has asthma or gets bronchitis, and we actually okay. before when she was younger would use saline treatments instead because of that side effect of getting the kids yes. jittery. So we did saline mm. treatments. Oh, so the albuterol got her jittery. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. I mean, the stuff does work, but if you use that and live off of that. Then yeah, you're gonna have some heart problems. You're gonna have breakdown. Um, Get stuff gets me nervous. <laughs> the one thing that it just gets me. Does show how old was she when, when you did the al al albuterol and she? We actually didn't do the albuterol until she was nine and she right. had double pneumonia. Right. Up until then, we were strictly saline for bronchitis. Right. And did you have the apparatus, the mask, yes, and the whole? She had the whole shebang. Yeah, a little turtle sticker on it. Right. Pretty cool. Sure. Sure. <laughs> my, my son did that, and and I remember him. You know, sitting up, we had him in bed, he wasn't feeling well, it was recommended, and he sat up and he goes, oh my God, Dad, he goes, my heart is like, and, and you're like, <gasps> yep. you know, it's, it's, it's like this shock, it's like the shock thing when you're a parent, right? Yeah, Absolutely. It, it was desperate measures for her when she had, a, she had a double viral, right. double pneumonia, and it was... Yep. <coughs> Another fat burner that I know of, other than just people taking compounded T3, which is going to obviously mm -hmm. screw up your thyroid function. Mm -hmm. uh, some people start taking iodine because they think it'll increase their thyroid function, but if you're not deficient, you're not really using it in the first place. Right. And then there's uh, carterine, the yeah. non-SARM, but it's considered a SARM, GW numbers. It's also known as Endurabol, which is now banned by the World Anti-Doping Association. Mm -hmm. But it's called Workout in a Bottle, and it has shown to increase um, thermogenesis wow. in And then there's CLA. Which they sell at all of the CLA is sold all the time, but, yes. and it works great in rodents, but not really shown to work in humans. But don't be sold when you go to the store and say, I need a fat burner, and they're giving you CLA, CLA. which is conjugated linoleic acid. And you can mm -hmm. get that from eating your beef right. in the first place, so gotcha. eat meat. <laughs> oh, we're going down that road, huh? <laughs> <laughs> eat meat, veggie boy. All right. <laughs> um, Rest fed, though. Not like grain fed. There you go. Another uh, popular supplement that people reach for is branched chain amino acids. Yeah. Um, there Sorry, was, they were my opinion. Right. <laughs> now, the biggest one in there is leucine mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. actually has shown to increase anabolic effects in individuals. Um, it release, it's been shown really to release some glucose. It and that's like really what it is. Uh -huh. 
um, being far more beneficial in, again, getting tested. Mm -hmm. There are lab tests to do full amino acid profiles, and most likely you're gonna be doing a essential amino acid supplement mm -hmm. if you need to supplement with it. That is correct. I mean, great, I'll simplify a little bit, but I always tell people, is instead of the brand change, you eat an egg. It has all the <laughs> essentials you need in there. Right, right. It's uh, but it's not as sexy. And no, it, not at all. it doesn't necessarily taste as good. I'll still take an egg over brand chains. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll, I'll use the essential amino acids. I find it helps in the extreme endurance type training. But you see the big guys walking around the gym, sipping on the branch chains instead of the full essentials. Um, there are companies, they've taken full essentials, they taste awful. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, some type of flavoring does help. So, ensure that flavoring is not some natural flavoring with all the functacular food, if it says food dye on it. Yeah, your natural dye. flavoring just means that something in it was from nature and it was very likely so artificial. <coughs> right. Like it doesn't mean it's something you found in the world. It means we took things that were real and we synthesized this, it's natural. How about testosterone boosters? That's oh. a huge one. Uh, uh, hormone optimization is very big today. It is, and why doesn't anyone get themselves tested? Not test, period, but right. tested right. to see what their hormone levels are at first before going out. I see so many kids that are like 18, 19 years old, and they are going and reaching for the test booster. Their test Jeez. is already through the roof in the first place. Right. It should be, and if not, there's a huge problem. So nothing is really happening because there's... They and you really can act eat, as a screed gog And you can eat poorly as a teenager, mm -hmm. and your testosterone <laughs> is still through the roof. Exactly. And you're going to get muscular gains. But it's better to Even in the 20s, eat better. You're shaking sure. these secreta gogs. And what was that one on the podcast that we did like way, way, way back in the day? Colin Kaepernick, uh, ESPN, they were advertising and touting. You sit on the uh, couch, and you look ripped and shredded like this. So we did that experiment. We went very well in depth. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we went yeah, exactly what you're talking about. I don't remember the name of it. Didn't work. No, we were sending emails back oh, and forth a while ago. Oh yeah, we did an experiment on they it, did. tried uh -huh. it. They biohacked it. <laughs> <laughs> we we have at least one or two articles out there about it, but I don't uh, remember specifics of what it was. To but me, this stuff's crazy though. Like everyone does a pill for everything. Mm -hmm. For God's sakes. Mm -hmm. And if you get a it, celebrity to back it up, it sells. But it could be simple. <laughs> like this is exhausting just listening to it, just because it's like <laughs> it's just the amount of pills like this booster and this booster. Guys, <coughs> eat real food, exercise, get your sleep. There's your testosterone booster. Go we, to bed. That does help. Turn the TV off. Turn the TV off. Get off face. But sleeping isn't sexy. Maybe if you had sexy clothing to wear when you went to sleep, that would make sleeping sexy. So you'd want to get in your clothes so you can sleep and uh, boost your test at that, right? Sleeping can be Where do we go with that comment? Where do we go with that one, right? Popping pills is sexy? See, that's what I don't understand. Is that a sexy thing? Like, I'm taking this? I'm it's this. intriguing, or at least it's what people want. And also, we'll use that as a cinnamon for sexy. It seems here, to be. Because if you, like, oh, completely change your diet and start exercising or take this pill. Okay, that's the approach most people are It's take. always the hard problem. stuff. People but want the easy you've stuff. You've got a sexy person on it, a cool-looking label, some phenomenal marketing and advertising mm -hmm. on yeah. it, and you get excited. It's like now you're buying a new car. Yeah. Best sex yeah. in a pill. Oh, everyone's going to run for it. It is just had a proprietary. That's why literally commercials so come on, and you know what I do these days? I turn. I either don't watch the commercials or just close my eyes, because I know everything on that commercial. I don't need to see. <laughs> I, I literally close my eyes. I don't even let my kids watch commercials. We don't do a lot of TV, but I literally like don't watch it. And, and if they see a commercial, I get upset. Quite frankly. And what's interesting is not only the younger generation is wants testosterone. Mm -hmm. It's really popular among those in the 40s, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those as myself in the 50s. I'm not taking anything for it, but it is very popular. And there's a lot of consequences that can come about with it, because if you take too much, what happens? You get placking yeah. on some type of vessel, could be the aorta going into your heart, and now you have a major problem. I'm thinking about somebody last year who had a heart attack, was taking testosterone in prescription. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, so you have to be... Blood levels, you got to watch. You I mean, just got test alone, it increases Mike, your red blood speak cells, it, which right? puts everyone more right. likely to get heart attacks or stress. So it's not only just the younger generation, it's the older generation, because you want to look mm -hmm. better. There's all the anti-aging out there with it. It still just makes sure it's done properly. Again, getting tested. And he Absolutely. had a heart attack because of, because of what he was taking? Yes. Well, it does yeah, increase that. your red blood cell count, so, I mean, if you're not keeping that checked, you're getting blood drawn regularly, yeah. you're going to have... 
thick blood, so to speak, which already puts you at the risk. And a lot of people, you know, in the ages of 50, 60, are already increasing risk as it is. So you're just kind of compounding variables at that point. Mm-hmm. Wow. So I was just it could be, keep it could be a problem. <laughs> right. I think the main ingredient that we were thinking about and talking about testosterone there in the booster was the tribulus. Yeah, and you did a little video. The tri- on that, I did, right. the th- and for the tribulus to be good, it has to actually be like a tar-like substance. Six, you showed the video. It's powder, pure, too. and I put it in, mm-hmm. just went absolutely everywhere. It was, it was unfortunately, it was garbage. So, and even to go back to talking about huh. that single pill, I was approached within the last week by somebody who said to me, "Nutrition is not where it's at." They said, "There's this little pill. This little." yellow pill he said Mm -hmm. and if you take this little it's good for everything that just turns me off so this little it's it's for everything was it capsule of water i I, you know and and (laughs) that's good for yourselves you know it's good you know but you know what what's in this and who's making it and so forth and so on that's a problem that could be a major problem Mm -hmm. you know so I'm looking at this person, I'm saying, well, who are you? What's your experience, <laughs> right? And, and, and what is your, you know, you know, what do you do for a living? You're, you're, you're trying to sell me this little yellow pill. I went to my wife and said the same thing, nutrition is not what's important, a little yellow pill. And my wife was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, what was he saying was in the pill? What was the pill? I, I don't know, I didn't get that far. I didn't get that far because right. again, you know, you can, you can, you know, we've all been approached by different companies. Yeah. You know, this is good, whether I'm going to go like this in my hands or I'm going to swallow it. Yeah. You know, it's good. It's good for everything. Right. And, and the big thing is there's no consequences to it. So there's no complicating factors. And you just look at it and go, huh? Mm-hmm. Right. That's that's always a problem. Human nature is funny. Humans are funny. They'd crack me up because it's like th- th- there's we're, we're con- nothing's ever changed. You know that, right? Like it for years and years and years, it's always been the same thing. Always. Mm-hmm. We're supposed to sleep. Good sleep. Not enough sleep. It's bad. We're supposed to have good, real food. Yep. If you eat the processed stuff, right. it's bad. Nothing's ever changed. We're supposed to move more, eat less. We're supposed to move, move our bodies. However you do it, whether you bike or run or lift weights. Nothing's really ever changed. It's actually good. The of human performance is basic. <laughs> it's basic. And yet we're always looking for the magic fairy dust. It is that reptilian mind that is in there of, yes. I want the instant gratification mm-hmm. right now. I want to either flee, fight. Freeze. <laughs> freeze? Freeze? That's a, yes. You don't know the freeze? I don't know the freeze. Oh, I, it is fight, flight, and freeze. And yeah, that fight, one. flight, freeze. Mm-hmm. Tell, tell, tell me more. Yes. I like the freeze. Yeah. I, I, I like was about to use a, big, a big bad me. word about what we want to do on a reptilian mind that also starts with an F. That's right. Procreate. Feed. And where do we go with that comment now, right? We don't, we don't know where to go. Increase testosterone. <laughs> no, but, but, you know, studying, and that's what I do, psychophysiology, there are three responses. So we have that sympathetic, parasympathetic, you know, nervous system. When the sympathetic is in overdrive, you will either flee, you know, run like hell to mm-hmm. get away from that saber-toothed tiger. Mm-hmm. You are going to freeze because it's that reaction before you don't know what you want to do. Oh, okay. So am I going to stay as still as possible, hoping that bear doesn't see me? <laughs> or are you going to run knowing that that bear is going to get you? Right. So that is something that has been found in studies. You can freeze, I'm leaving. I'm running <laughs> fast. That some people as fast as they can. You know? Yeah, they'll chances. fight, they'll flee. I think flee, it goes back to that freeze. effort, that effort and that mindset, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. right? And you right. deal with mindset. All the time. All the time. I, I, how, would, how would you deal with somebody with a uh, mindset? Because that's interesting to me. You really that's, have to get down to the root of why they are making the choices that they're making. Mm-hmm. What are they missing in their life? So what areas of life are not fulfilled mm-hmm. and that they're trying to satisfy in a very, um, what's the best word, quick way to do it? Yeah. You know, so it's getting down to breaking habits, right. creating new neural pathways through repetition, um, biofeedback, yeah. heart rate variability training, getting to learn how your body functions at the mm-hmm. cellular level and realizing that 
this food or this supplement is harming you in the long run. Your mm -hmm. cognitive functioning isn't right. You have that brain fog from eating the foods that you do or not drinking the water or drinking too much soda. So learning how all the foods that you eat and the supplements that you're taking affect your body will allow you to start to make those connections in your head of what you need to get rid of. Well, as a health coach, you know damn well I totally believe it. Believe <laughs> yeah. The whole, like, I got to plug myself here, H-O-L, I mean, holistic. It's mind, body, and soul, right? Mm -hmm. But it starts in the mind. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's a reason you're doing something that's, that's potentially harming yourself. Mm -hmm. If you don't get to that root cause, as Shante said, you're just going to keep doing it over and over again. And God forbid, and this, you know, God forbid someone, spend time, someone spends time with you because we don't, you know, doctors don't do it anymore. Right. You got that five minutes, six minutes, boom, you're out the door. He's got his back to you as he walks in the door, and you never get to that root cause because we never slow down. Yep. You never but, slow down. Like you just said down. that you don't spend time with anybody jumping. <laughs> Except Dr. Mike. But when you but when you're back to him, because you got to see somebody else. Yeah. Right, right. I mean, that brings up so many issues. I mean, one of them is with the mindset, because one of the hurdles that I always have is is how do you approach that? And you know, for me, just you know, I'm I'm a clinical nutritionist, and to say, okay, you know, Sunday afternoons are going to be your Sunday mornings. You're going to spend time with your significant other, perhaps, and you're going to cook differently, and you're going to meal prep for the week. They look at you, and they're like, huh? What? And so this is perfect with this mindset to try to, to, create to, try that to change that, right? Yeah. To change that around. I think that is key. It's you creating know. the alignment because clients won't move forward if they're not in alignment with the goals and the vision. <coughs> 100%. And when you and then you need spinal alignment as well. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> and when you actually achieve the goal, then find that then what? I mean, even when I achieve my own goals, now what? Another goal. Another goal. But keep moving forward. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it, that's exactly it. You, you have lost another goal. fifteen pounds. Awesome. What's next? Right. Exactly. You, you lost fifteen, 15 pounds. pounds. You can lose it again. Your your no. <laughs> <laughs> your triglycerides are a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Now we need to figure out how to get those triglycer triglycerides down from a nutritional perspective, from a mindset perspective, and you know, working out right and and the whole holistic approach. Now I remember. I mean, it's these little things like when it comes to physical activity personally if I did not have some goals I would be happy jolly and not wise <laughs> you're, I mean you're, you, you write your goals down yes, yes. I do write my goals sure, down sure so, so do I and you know if I say I want to lose weight to me great not going to happen <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be a residual effect of something else um, you know that's why I enjoy doing the Spartan that's why I decided I'll do another powerlifting competition. That's why I decided that, you know, I'll put it on the list for 10 years from now to climb Mount Everest. I mean, you, these are certain goals that yeah. your body is going to be in good shape as a result of. But if you're just saying, I want to lose 10 pounds, all right, what's that driving force of that little competitive spirit to say no bread? You know, I can have the salad and I can have the burger and I can do all this kind of stuff. I know burger, but whatever. The veggie okay, burger for you if you okay. want one. I'm gonna have a beef beef burger. But uh, I eat a little grass <laughs> fed. I eat a little. Grain, I eat a little bit. Beef. I don't go crazy. Yeah. I don't. I don't do a lot of meat, but I, I do a little bit. We made a good point with like the motivation behind it. Usually with goals, there needs to be some sort of emotional connection. You're not gonna right. do it. Bingo. So a lot of people go to it's for my kids or you know something that. What's the why? The what's, yeah, what's your why? What's your why? Why? What's yeah. what's your why? Right. How? How and yeah. why? Mm -hmm. And that goes back to mindset. Correct. Mm -hmm. The another big thing I know is people make mistakes with goals. They don't set a time frame from it, or their goal isn't measurable. Right. And it's like, oh, I want to lose smart, weight. Smart goals. It's like, I want to lose weight. Perfect. Go to the bathroom. You just dropped a pound because you <laughs> you're successful. And now, where do right? we go from there? Yeah, right? like, <laughs> people, you need to have a measurable goal. 15 pounds and then a time frame that you hold yourself accountable to it. And it's like, oh, I'll continue getting back. I'll just cheat today. I'll be honest with you, this morning I think I dropped like three pounds. But <laughs> getting a little, getting a little, getting a little crazy, you know. I, I ate a little bit too much at night. But All right. <laughs> and where do we go from here? <laughs> Sorry. This podcast going on the crap. Is <laughs> a crap done in Did you get me? All right, I'll get you back. <laughs> 
and, and, and I'm 57. I'm old, and, and we're crapping all over the place. <laughs> no, but mindset. Don't say you're old. Say you're young. Yeah, I'm 57. You say you're, you're young, young. You're young. 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 <laughs> you're young. Yes. You're young. So let's do a little... Uh, idea of yay or nay to certain supplements. Oh, this is going to be fun. Ooh, Robin, gonna, I, I got a whole bunch of them here. All so. right. All right. Echinacea. I know this one's a little loaded because, well, it says certain it can parts do anything in certain parts of the plant as well. But mm-hmm. how does everyone feel about echinacea? Go around, Robin. <laughs> nay. Depending on why you take it, it goes from yay to nay. Same. Depends. Depends. Get it to your food. Okay. And uh, if you're starting to get a cold or something like that, would you reach for it or? Probably better take it before you get the cold because a lot of it's more preventative. Doesn't, as far as I know, I mm-hmm. haven't seen if it shows actually help during the cold. <coughs> I don't know if you guys have any more information on that. Than I, I, I'm, I'm not aware of anything. It a little bit more preventative, but then I still throw things like elderberries a little bit better anyway. Bingo, elderberry. So I, I do think there are better, better things to do. Then. And the yeah. root, <laughs> it's the root of the plant that has the most effects. Yes. And most supplements use the leaves, mm-hmm. so you're. Technically getting echinacea, but not getting that therapeutic effect. Mm-hmm. All right. How about creatine? Would you take... And I forgot, this is one I do take every day, personally. It's like HCL. Oh, do you? I'm assuming. I do. Talking about creatine in general, HCL specific? Just creatine different. in general, because for the most part, most creatine that's been studied is creatine monohydrate. You right. do mm-hmm. the creatine alkyl, you so HCL. Slow, real quick. So Gain five pounds. For any reasons, what are your <laughs> thoughts on creatine as a daily supplement? I am pro creatine. <laughs> it works. I don't take it, but it works. I have no issues with it. Again, depends on what your goals are. I mean, if if you're if you feel like you need it, I go with what people want to you know use it for. If you, if you think you need it and you're you know want to get bigger and stronger and you're doing a Spartan race and it's part of your routine, great. I think it, there's, it's value, there's value when... And the way you people. exercise also influences its effectiveness a little bit. You know, the ironic part is, I actually take it more for the more newer research of cognitive benefits oh, really? than I do for athletic benefits. Oh, I didn't even know. You got to tell me. So, so it's been shown now to it. help increase cognitive benefits. People <laughs> are being able to, uh, their IQ levels are... Going up slightly, you're being able to retain more information. Really? And so here's well, the if, you think, about it, if, if you think about it, if you're improving the oxygen through your body mm-hmm. and enhancing the cells, you're going to get more to your brain. So we're saying which is the cause, what's the effect on here? Correct. The studies that I've read is individuals that are not necessarily being an athlete in of itself. Okay. So it may huh. be the creatine. We're going to have to test your IQ soon. <laughs> See if it went up or down, or <laughs> um, well, maybe I'll look into it. Yeah, definitely. definitely I mean, look into it. I'm, Can't I'm hurt. Open mind. I mean, and the research has now been around long enough that it's going to show that it's not going to actually harm your body. It's not causing right, kidney failure and damage right, like yeah. people once thought. No, that does. Yeah, not I'm causing agreed. dehydration, which I, I'm still baffled how anyone could ever say it causes dehydration because it makes you retain yeah, the water. Yeah, you keep so water in more. there. Mm-hmm. So you might not pee yeah, as you, much. But do you get puffy on it? Uh, no. I utilize HCL instead of monohydrate. While mm-hmm. it does bring in some water, it does not bring in the as much as monohydrate. Okay. Yeah. So if you want less of the water retention, HCL varies the one. HCL. Mm-hmm. Interesting. How about garlic? I eat it with everything. <laughs> so I'm for it. I eat it with everything. All right. I love garlic. Mm-hmm. I'm Italian, Italian, so I, I have it hanging like from my ceiling. I so I um, love it. Yes. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> I love it. Now that, that's that's also an interesting one because that was one of the original ones for high cholesterol and triglycerides and, mm-hmm. and so forth and, and so on. So that was the initial, right? You know, and, supplement that you would take. And as anything that I've seen, it's not necessarily going to uh, make you immune to heart disease or slash that risk. But if you are concerned about high blood pressure or high high cholesterol, which as we've said many times. So you're showing, heavens forbid, your cholesterol is at 2, 210, you're not going to die, you're okay. Cognitive benefits again go up, uh, longevity goes up. Those that have uh, cholesterol that is way too low, hitting the statins are actually shown to have lower lifespans. Mm-hmm. So not necessarily a bad thing. But And if you're trying to get rid of your date, load up on the garlic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Garlic and onions, right? <coughs> garlic and onions. <laughs> onions, really. It might be worse than the garlic, <laughs> as far as the, the breath. Also may help improve lipid panels, so win-win. And then 
the silent ones, delicious South Korean aged black garlic. Oh, it's so good. That was actually <laughs> probiotic benefit. What is it? What is it? It's aged black garlic. I'm looking to get the recipe still. Ooh, For some reason, she is silent still it. about it. Yeah. Aged really? black garlic. When I got out of the hospital, she brought me a gift. It was a jar of aged black garlic. The second she heard I got sick, she started making it. Hmm. And uh, where does that come from? It's her uh, Korean, it's her recipe. Korean recipe. But there's a lot of uh, positive uh, mm -hmm. bacterial and effects to it. And it's almost sweet. It is. It does. Yeah. It does not taste. It, you know it's garlic, but it's not. It oh, doesn't have any good. of that ampicillin mm. bite to it. Yeah. It, I mean, it's been fermented. You use sugar in it, but now the sugar is levels so low because it's been fermented on it. Cool. And uh, yeah, she gave it to me because I was on such high doses of antibiotics to help rebuild my entire system. Oh wow. And uh, it, it's almost like a treat taking three or four of them and a mouthful of that. You got any more left? Yeah. The recipe is what I'm looking for. The recipe is what I'm looking for. So in other words, it's, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, how about melatonin? That's a big popular one. I'm personally not a fan of this one. I think I'll probably be arguing a little bit on this one, but anytime we're messes with hormones, I'm not a fan of it. I mean, it does work, but I personally don't usually recommend it under most circumstances. So what would you... So if somebody's melatonin is not being produced properly, what might you do? They're up all night now. Stare at a red light. Put on rose-colored uh, glasses at night. It's a more, I, again, a little bit more natural way. You can argue about the natural so I'm light use that's a red coming light. in. But Explain to me. I don't understand. Why red light? I'll send you research papers, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Lay, lay, down the, lay down the functional neurology for it. Go ahead. Just give a little bit. That's fine. Just tell me that the blue light's going to stimulate my beta waves and we're good. And then Done. All right. <laughs> No, I'm just not a fan of putting any like direct hormone replacements. I mean, it's not a direct hormone, but it does turn mm -hmm. into it's a pro hormone that, mm -hmm. uh, just in general, I'm not a huge fan of. But studies show it does work for multiple things. It does. It does work. You have to. You have to be ju very judicious when you're when you're using it. That's my agreed. I mean, anytime I've used it in the past, if I use it for too many days in a row, right. I'm up that next night and mm -hmm. just laying in bed. Can't you I mean you're suppressing well, your own? The big thing with that too is one milligram is all you need. These mm -hmm. five and ten milligram right. melatonins are I absolutely the gummies are delicious. useless. <laughs> the gummies are delicious. Right. I mean, there's just some nights where you just can't go to sleep, and so for that reason, I will take them. Mm -hmm. um, for all other reasons, I'm out. I'm out. I'm a fan of it if you really need it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't go to it. Um, I would. I would try to, you know, um, uh, turn the TV off, try to go outside, breathe in nature, and try to go to sleep. If you cannot, liposomal, like melatonin, which is melatonin that gets into the tissues. And I always go back to, if you're going to use any of this, to me, in, in my mind, if you're going to use any of this stuff, whether it's a, a pill of garlic or liposomal mel melatonin, uh, CLA, it just know where it's coming from. To me, like just go to a reputable company, whether whatever it is, and take the good stuff, quality over quantity, and not because it, it scares me that that this is an, an unregulated industry, right. which just to me it, that's crazy. It's just free reign to just put whatever you want in this stuff, and and that is nuts in my mind. So I just be careful with what you take and use it, you know, wisely and a little bit and only if you need it. Use it very judiciously. Yeah, yeah. And if you haven't heard our podcast on sleep, we keep doing them. So really, there's a search <laughs> button on the top right part of the screen. Just hit sleep. <clears throat> Most topics we've talked about so far, we've had a podcast right. on already. But, and we did like the sleep one like a month after yes. Dr. Mike and I did one. You and I did one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because people were asking and I said, didn't you hear the one? But We did. So we'll just link those two to this podcast and show notes. there's a whole other section we could do on psychophysiology and certain devices that can help you sleep. It's retraining your brain waves and mm -hmm. lowering alpha and increasing beta and gamma, you know. And, There's and also been a sleeping fast. They've done studies. Pretty much stay awake as long as you can and then crash as long as you can. That kind of helps reset your circadian clock a little bit. It's socially difficult to do. Oh, wow. Like, oh, I'm going to stay up for 33 hours, barely awake, and I'll sleep as long as you can for 14. Right. That doesn't work with most people, you know, jobs and everything, mm -hmm. but it has been shown to help reset circadian rhythms a little bit. Which is just not very... very right. Navy SEAL training. Yeah. Anyway. It's just not... Oh, the Navy SEALs do that? They are sleep well, they, deprived. they kind of do that. They are. They're sleep deprived. <laughs> they do it for another yeah, reason, but... During, yeah. during Hell Week. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. But dark cherries. Cherries are a good way. Yeah. yeah. Natural melatonin yeah. in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Walnuts, right? Walnuts are Correct. Right. So one of the biggest reasons people have with sleep, and you brought up before, Mike, is the the blue light. 
and it comes on people's TV, it comes on people's phones when you're using these all night. I mean, really, it does help. Hit the airplane mode. That's why no one can get in touch with me sometimes at night. It's on airplane mode. Um, there's uh, programs on the phones now, even built in, that after dark, it will turn an orangish color and remove the blue lights, the filter. Mm -hmm. Some people wear the blue blockers to watch TV at night. I have a tough time with that. Personally, I get it, but if you want to... It's terrible, does it? Mm -hmm. It does, that's the thing. It, it looks makes awful. the TV look awful. I have a tough time watching a baseball game. The Yankees, and some, like, uh, nuclear fallout just happened. It, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. We have the glasses, too, and I think they suck. They suck. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult, but if you want to truly be all they awesomer than thou that. and bulletproof your way of watching TV at night, you put on those glasses. Yeah, it went there. Um, turmeric. I agree, but I've still a hard time doing it. What about turmeric? Love it. Love it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I think, yes. I think it's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, anti-inflammatory. It's excellent. I, mean, I think it's a huge fan of throw it in your food. I mean, granted, I love the taste of it, and who cares if my food turns orange? Yeah. Uh, right. It's fantastic. You do have to make sure you have black pepper to it because it's a low bioavailability to begin with. Right. And uh, it's not quite the same as you get supplements. Typically, they'll have curcumin because that's the mm -hmm. main pigment of it, and they're ignoring right. everything else that's involved in it. So I'd say just take turmeric. We, uh, we, we, with the students uh, last week, we, uh, we were looking into turmeric and arthritic mm -hmm. depression, Alzheimer's. It has a lot of it has a lot of benefits. When was this stuff ten years ago? It was in your pantry. Right, <laughs> right, Shoot. probably. But like, like, why is it, why is why is this stuff I, it become so popular? It, well, it's, it's being great, it's great stuff. Nutrition's being studied right now. Yeah, you know, because the processed foods, the refined carbohydrates, sugars, and so forth, we've realized this is not where we want to live. So now there's an explosion of nutritional research, nutritional science. Why did and this is why my brain? Why? Does, it, does this never cease to, to end? It's always like in 10 years from now, unfortunately, in 20 years from now, we're going to be talking about some other thing. And some other people thing. People are always going to dump money. And some other thing. And some because other thing. they get bored of something. Why do, unfortunately, people get divorced so much in this country? Because they get bored of the person they're with and they want a new model. They get a new car <laughs> traded every three years because they want a new model. The attention span of people is short. So the right. stuff that works, the very simple stuff that works, that we know that works, <coughs> then you go back is, to it. Is boring it's because not it's, it's got to be repackaged in a new way. So turmeric will be repackaged in ten years from now yeah. to make mm -hmm. it sexy again. And even yeah. things that do work, a lot of people won't take them for long periods of time. It's like, oh, turmeric's gonna be great. It's gonna help out my health, and then maybe they'll do it for like a month, and then they'll stop. Oh, I did that for a month. I stopped. It didn't go back. <laughs> so what's the next thing? Right. That's pretty much it's it's true. But there is curcumin. Uh, somebody help me. Curcumin. Thank you. That's why I wow, keep it helps with something pronunciation. That's not a thing. <laughs> uh, form. His, his IQ is going low. Right? <laughs> <laughs> liposomal form with piperine in it and really helps enhance that absorption rate. And mm -hmm. even with the CBD oils that we utilize, CBD that's nanoparticle size has been shown that with curcumin, with the piperine, it's already in oil, the hemp oil, it really uptakes that absorption. So curcumin is typically not very... Bioavailable no, until like percent, even with black pepper, right. it ups all the way up to around twenty. Until you put required. that extra stuff in it, then your body can mm. absorb better. And uh, just a little note: um, turmeric in essential oil form, not the best to diffuse into your room. It is quite potent. Ooh. Very potent. Ooh. Well, I didn't even know you can get it in essential. Oil. Do tell like what burn happens. and smell the way it tastes. You walk in there, it's. Like a gas chamber, it and you, you gotta open the window. <laughs> right. A little too much, a little right. too pungent. So oh, who was sleeping on the couch that night? <laughs> I think Probably I'm both of us. <laughs> <laughs> I put in some peppermint oil about that, really, just quick to blow out the room. <laughs> that stuff is pungent, so if it's that pungent on the outside, which how pungent it is on the inside. Uh, how about zinc? Get it to your first. Yeah, it's a required uh, mineral, but. Zinc, zinc is very important because it is um, cofactor for a lot of Many things. biochemical reactions. If not, I mean, so it's never really overwhelming majority. Dark leafy greens. Yeah, right. And as zinc goes down, uh, it's been shown uh, to be associated with insulin resistance too. The only caveat with that, and people take it for increasing hormones such as testosterone. Mm -hmm. But that Which caveat a lot is more but yeah. what if you're already fine with it? What if your levels are already normal? 
Get it tested, right? Get it tested. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. They get a blood test. There's, there's, there's a zinc tally test at one of the companies that we uh, use. It's a simple swish it in your mouth type What's of thing. What's it taste like? <laughs> you know? and, and, it, and, it, and it's very accurate, and I, get, and I get some good results with it, so. Right. And, you know, if you are already up to normal levels with your zinc, you may not notice all these wonderful miracle benefits. And if you're deficient, you'll notice those benefits with any mineral. Yeah. If you're deficient in it, you're going to notice these miracles. If you're not deficient in it, you're not going to notice these wonderful So if you things. want a supplement to guarantee work, make sure you're incredibly deficient first. <laughs> well, I see where we're going with this. Yeah. <laughs> How about uh, B vitamins? I mean, you take them as a complex, you take them as B6, you take them as B12. I mean, what do you feel about B vitamins? We know that with B12 you're going to need if you're going to be a vegetarian. I mean, you're not getting it through your beef sources. Seaweed. Right. For vegetarians, that's where I go with it, is eat your seaweed. It tastes like crunchy salt and smells like pond water. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> but it's veggie boy like The seaweed. kids, the kids seaweed. like it. Our kids I'll like throw it into like cooked meal. I cannot just eat sheets like of seaweed. We are in, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting it at Costco now and the uh, box is full. I'm, they're delicious. Yeah. I can't do it. Uh, you have that like in the Zevia and I'm having a snack in a ball game right I'd now. I'd rather just throw <laughs> like cooked spinach and like, I can eat it that way. Pretty much just seasons the spinach. That sounds but delicious. Where'd you come up? Where are you been hiding? I'm, I'm writing these recipes for the book currently, Jim. Awesome. So in the book is going to be these recipes. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. My question is, how come you're not bringing it into the office so that we can partake in the well, festivities? Well, it's interesting. It's, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a potluck. I'll, I'll so. bring in the pork chops. That's the so one. So in the book will be the pork chops. Huh, in the sorry. book will be the Amish eggs. Oh yeah. Oh, I actually forgot about that one. In the book will be the seaweed spinach. Yeah. Okay. That does sound good. Seaweed spinach. What else is in it? You'll have to wait and find out. <laughs> oh, all right. you it's mostly just you're going to have to buy the book. <laughs> so the black aged garlic and the seaweed spinach. You I have, you have, I to have buy. two things. So I have a, I have a goal. I, always <laughs> I have my, two goals. My two goals. Two goals. Does Both involve eating. 20, 24 <laughs> hours, you want everything, right? That's it. Right. So going back to the B complex or any single B vitamins, does do any of you feel that you should take only one B vitamin at a time or just take the whole B complex? And if so, when is the appropriate time? It's going to want to throw in the blood test of the category to make this easier for me to say. That's just but the easy way. At this way. point, it's the easy way uh, out. But <laughs> yeah. I liked taking a B complex when I needed it. When I needed it. Mm -hmm. If you're going to take one, I say take the complex unless you know specifically what you need. And it was a whole food. Uh, as long as also, again, it balances out so that we are actually absorbing everything. So you look at it from two different perspectives. Is If you do the vitamin and mineral panel, it will tell you which ones that you're deficient in. And you can get specific, but I also like to do the MTHFR test to see what's methylating. And though there's some products that have an array of B vitamins that can help out with methylation. Especially G vitamins, if you are like uh, deficient in it, make sure that your gut health is, well, that you have good gut health. Otherwise, you're, you're going to take those B vitamins, you're not doing it anyway. The intrinsic factor coming from stomach is huge. Right, so mm -hmm. B12 and so mm -hmm. forth. So yeah. if you are low, make sure there's, it's not, you're just not eating it. Make sure you can actually absorb it. And that leads us into leaky gut. Make sure that your intestine, mm -hmm. you know, is, is good. You don't have any of that permeability. Absolutely. So before we tracked, or tracked, we were talking about, you know, where people's money goes. And a lot of money goes more, I think, towards supplements. Um, for instance, just taking a basic ones, multis, fish oils, and vitamin D, to which we kind of talked about, you don't really necessarily have to have to take a multi, get tested. You don't mm -hmm. necessarily have to take vitamin D, especially if you live down towards the equator. Mm -hmm. Um, summertime, if you're out and about a lot, work outside during the daytime, vitamin D may not be one that you need to take. Yeah. Um, blood test vampiric weight me up here in North. I'm sure I need it. If you Proper do, vitamin D levels do help improve sleep as well. Sure. Caveat, red shiny balls. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you are eating wild caught fresh fish, uh, you may not need to take a krill supplement, mm -hmm. for instance, multiple times a week. The salmon you made last night, oh my goodness. That Alaskan that sockeye, nice to, uh, that was phenomenal. So one of my favorite things to throw in. You didn't eat any of it, did you? No. Oh, did you at least oh, save the, the piece for yourself? That's right, you didn't get to no. eat it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it was <laughs> great with the, the spinach. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what other 
parents have kids that love salmon and spinach, but ours do. <laughs> but wow. if you have that a few times a week, you may not need yeah. one. So you're already going to be spending a couple hundred dollars, even, depends on, it could right. be on the cheap stuff a year, a couple hundred dollars a month, just on those basics. Or just spend that money on your grass-fed, fully organic food. Right, I was gonna say, right. or you can spend that money on <laughs> And you'll probably still have some leftover. Supplements are expensive. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. so yeah. what foods are you eating? Comes down to the investment in your health. Right. And if you're having trouble with that, there are experts here, <laughs> I'd say out there, but literally here. Direct message us. Because we work internationally, yeah. literally, we can work Easy. with e people via Zoom, uh, Skype, whatnot, as we have uh, all around the world right. on getting them where they need to be. It's always more fun to have you in the office than you can be in the Fit Lab. But um, also, how do you know which ones to buy? That's a, a big one. Because how many times somebody has come to me and say, Jim, I bought this. You know, this could be whatever. <laughs> and I asked them, okay, why did you buy that? We never talk about that. Mm -hmm. They said, well, I was in the vitamin place and you know, let's not mention any uh, very friendly sales rep <laughs> right told me to get this studies do your research to know what you're putting in your body the investment in your health is important just know what you put in your body there's some companies out there that are fantastic I work with one you know but that's not, not the time or place but again do your do your research and and make sure that they're researching it that they're a legit company there's, there's plenty of them but there's also plenty of uh, of garbage. There's a lot of garbage out there. So studies. So, there's got to be studies. So right? so so in other words, go to a reputable individual, so that you'll get reputable advice. Mm -hmm. That's what you're. So you can find research to prove almost anything, especially nutrition. I mean, sure. geez, I know you know this. You look up any. Right. I yeah. look turmeric, and you can find turmeric's the best thing in the world. Turmeric will give you cancer. That's so true. it really comes right. down to who also who is doing the research. When there's right. money that's involved right. in the research, right. that usually and there's always money as confounders that are always in, in research. Um, and a lot of people, as you say, right. well, you're about to say, think that you know you can make research say anything you want. You can. Um, so in that yeah. case, you need to find the qualified professionals that can cipher through the research. Because I know Correct. a lot of people don't want to read the research. They don't want to buy a journal, look through that. They'd rather read the magazine and right. say, oh, the magazine said this, and that was from a research journal, so therefore... How many times do you want to just read the abstract? You have to power yourself through to actually read the whole thing. Right, right. Like it's well, never. I always, <laughs> I always want to read the whole thing and uh, take the numbers and see what's clinically significant. Like, they say that. I want to well, you know, you know what happens, and I had an argument, and this is a little bit off the topic, with a... Uh, uh, another Cairo, and he would just read the executive summary. The executive summary is much different, and you get much different results from the full text type of an article. Sometimes they don't they even they don't match up. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. So I'm like, so you could be doing something or, or making clinical decisions, and like, oh, oh, okay. You know, you didn't. You know, you didn't. Study was very well done. These are the results that we didn't write the paper. Yeah. So. There's also on, we are talking about cost of specific supplements before, mm -hmm. and some are cheaper, some are more expensive. And in talking about fish oils here, mm -hmm. uh, in 2015 there's a study that showed fish oil supplements often didn't contain the amount of EPA and DHA tested, mm -hmm. yeah. and stated on the labels it was only 3 out of 32 tested supplements actually uh, included what it said it did. That's right. I mean, my, my yeah. mentor in clinical nutrition, he would always say there's no truth in labeling. Mm -hmm. So again, you have to go to that reputable uh, individual and you have to get that reputable advice yeah. from a reputable company that they know yeah. that they're getting benefits from, not only from the research studies, because you have to look at it from experience, your clinical expertise. You know, you have, you've been doing this for a period of time. We know that it, that it, that it works. Right. I agree with Dan. It becomes a trust thing. So you, 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 you grow relationships and you, it becomes, do you trust this person? Are they, are they honest? Are they ethical? Mm -hmm. or do they, you know, are they really being honest or is it just a money thing? And, then, and it really starts from there, right? Like, you know, and then... So the right. Funktacular part that was also found... Say again? The Funktacular part was also found. Yeah. Funktacular? Yeah. <laughs> you lost it. He's been using this one You more. go to school long enough, you can start to make up your own words. His, <laughs> IQ, his IQ just <laughs> elevated. <laughs> Funktacular. I like it. More expensive supplements actually were more likely to have on the labels what is stated. However, um, the more expensive companies were equally likely to be oxidized. 
Mm -hmm. So you're getting rancid fish oil. But mm -hmm. the amount is on there, yeah. but it's rancid. The money is actually it's going to... Yeah. Okay. So if you open up a bottle of fish oil and it smells like fish, you don't want that. You, you don't, don't want, want to get that. rid of that. 100%. So they're actually using that money on their marketing aspect, and that's why it's being yeah. paid, I mean, that's uh, not, passed that's on directly to you, the consumer. Exactly. Get, 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 get a, a pin and, and get your... You know, fish yeah. oil and mm -hmm. pop it. You, you know, right. take you know, smell it. Is it is that rancid type of a taste? Mm -hmm. You 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 probably want to run for the hills. There's always someone point. trying to get something over on you, right? No, I've even had it's a crazy. very reputable a pharmaceutical grade company before, and I open it up, just didn't smell it. I'm like, no. So I contacted them back, sent it back to them. They sent me it was a different batch, and uh, I guess that batch had gone bad. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, so it was different. Okay, so you got a good. So batch. I got a different batch. Right. Of okay, it, thankfully. But it wasn't a. Th at least it wasn't a thing. Right. It wasn't no, just. No, no. A it, it was the batch. You, know, you actually. Uh, I don't remember if you directly said it or if I indirectly got it. But with beta oxidation, since fish oil is such a big thing, people who take fish oil is one they don't usually take enough to actually make a difference. Mm -hmm. I, we don't have to get too much in that right now, but studies show unless you're taking. Usually people take what two little fish pills, right? If you look at the amounts, usually it takes about six or eight of those to make right. any at difference. Least, right. Yes. Usually we're talking four or six grams, and then people still you want to have antioxidants with it. Otherwise, you're going to add more beta oxidation to your system. Yeah, that's correct. So if you are taking a lot of fish oils, make sure you're. You know, that's why I like the uh, krill comes has the antioxidant the, in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's and great. usually, I mean, if there are weeks that I eat more fish, I will not eat krill. Mm -hmm. However, on weeks that it, or Couple of weeks that go by the night, I usually will take five grams of it, and that's and that's important what you just said, six to eight grams because um, most people take like one or two, right? And, and, and they think that they're. That. When I recommend mm -hmm. a fish oil, it will it will be you know you're going to take it twice in the morning, twice in the mm -hmm. afternoon, twice in the evening because we're so used to eating foods that are so high in omega sixes. Yes, and that's you inflammatory, mm -hmm. and so that's why you're taking that amount, the omega-6 to omega-3 ratios have reversed today. So people are eating more of the omega-6s. Yes. And it's actually 15 to 20 to 1, if I'm not mistaken, okay. where omega-6s are through omega-3s right now. And that is, um, that is, that's alarming. That's actually a very alarming number. Mm -hmm. the, uh, there is an international fish oil standards program, which is voluntary, that will, is a third party testing service that mm. you want to make sure that your supplement has gone through that. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? And that's cool. Check yeah. your like that. check the uh, FDA warning letters if your supplement company has received warning letters as well. That's another little uh, trick of the trade to find out if it's good stuff or not. And the F uh, FDA. Maybe. Yep. Oh. And you can check out also Consumer Labs, Public Health and Safety Organization, uh, which will have that little NSF mark on it. Mm -hmm. International Society for Pharmaceutical Engineering, or GMPP, uh, United States Pharmacopoeia, USP Verified Mark, or Labdoor. You can check out all these to see if your supplements are up to snuff or not. Also, go to your reputable individual, and they'll <laughs> be able to help you out too. Because they would have already done that for you, nice. which is the investment in your health and your time and your efforts. <laughs> If you're trusting someone to do your car because you don't have the time to do it, you really should trust someone with your health because you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> what was what was what's what, what, what's that saying? It's it's you know an individual eats poorly, but then if you ask them to eat better, they be they they go right to Doctor Google. They become research scientists. Right. Yeah. Right. And a lot of time and effort, unfortunately, is wasted, and we believe in efficiency. So that's why we're right. dispensing all this valuable, valuable information. So, what did you eat today, Mike? Doctor Mike. Well, let's not do this one. I had a breakfast and brunch meeting this morning. Sure, he busted me for it. I'm, I pass. <laughs> Chante, how about yourself, and why? Uh, uh, well, considering this is hour, I don't even know what hour. We're going on seventy-two hours. We're going on seventy-two hours of no food. Oh my um, goodness! So I had black coffee this morning and water mm -hmm. so and the reason being on that one that. as you're getting <laughs> as most of the world does know by now that you're prepping and getting ready for another competition in a few weeks from now and yes. the own natural fat burners here we're not hitting the point where your body is going to start uh, catabolizing muscle but the black coffee as opposed to nothing whatsoever does help um, with beta oxidation and to 
burn fat in layman's terms here. Mm-hmm. And we're letting my body do its own work. It's right. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. you go back to eating in the manner that if anyone... Back to keto. Yeah, going keto and then having that mm-hmm. day where we swing it the other way a little yep. bit. And Are you just start carb cycling? It's not carb cycling, Mike. <laughs> we go keto to what we'll call a uh, modified keto. <laughs> 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 so, so when you're not doing this, preparing for a show, you, do you typically do keto? Yes. So kind of keto is your kind of thing. Keto. It's not like a keto but diet. not to the point. Not to the point of twenty grams of carbs per day. Still do vegetables and mm-hmm. making sure, yeah, yeah. especially later in the day, there is some carbohydrate, low glycemic intake, mm-hmm. to prevent a breakdown, shutdown of thyroid function. Right. Right, later down liver function, things of that nature. So your version, your kind of version of keto. Right, so it's more paleo. um, It is more of a paleo paleo slash Mediterranean slash. Right, yeah. It's modified, modified Mediterranean. It's still low carb, high fat, um, good. It is more high fat. Yeah. But at the same time, when it does get closer to showtime, it will be 100% ketogenic. Right, right. Here's some oil. For purposes, right? Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Absolutely. And it works. Mm-hmm. For me, absolutely, Doctor Dan. How about yes. yourself? I had uh, eggs and veggies this morning, with some lemon water, and that's all I've had. And I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to talk more about Amish food. <laughs> getting into a catabolic state as we speak. <laughs> like I'm getting there too. I have not had one thing today specifically. I had uh, two glasses of lemon water uh, with no fluoride in it. <laughs> it's a whole other ball game. Two glasses of uh, lemon water. I had black coffee, and that is it for now. But I, my diet is basically um, not keto, but keto-ish, mm-hmm. with a little bit of carbs. Um, I snack throughout the day five to six different um, meals. Typically, um, after I get up, it's two hours. I, I don't eat two or three hours. Um, and before bed, I, I don't eat two to three hours before bed. And that's typically what I do, and I try to stay towards real food. Mm-hmm. Fruits, veg. I will eat more fruit, fruit, vegetables, um, real foods, dark leafy greens, avocado. I'm not keto. I'm not completely keto, but real food. Five to six that. times a day, and mm-hmm. I, don't, I try, you know, keep the volume down. Not, not so much. And oh, myself. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're all looking yeah, at you. Yeah. What did you? I had some. I do the usual sixteen-hour intermittent fast myself. And it's getting to be about food time. It's actually <laughs> past food time now. Is that every time. day? Do you do that? Um, I'd say ninety-five percent of the time I will. And I find it. Okay. I find it helps, especially with training. Helps clean up some cells. I mean, oh, doing a longer fast for to have true autophagy kick in would be the way to go. And I will do that after the race on Saturday. After I'm done eating anything and everything that's not nailed down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I like the way it makes me feel. I feel sharper in the mind yeah. and that's really the biggest reason why I do it it's I know it does have um, effects that can help with fat loss but for me it's all about keeping the mind sharp and I feel that works for me best so we should do a pre and post um, IQ test one week do one and I just gorge on an Amis breakfast and then <laughs> next week He's slurring, he's slurring his words right now. He needs to eat. <laughs> he needs to eat. <laughs> that or we're going back to biohack human days and I'm slurring my words. So 16 eight every day. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, any God. closing thoughts? Wait, throw them out there. Phenomenal. <laughs> as close to nature as possible. As big close big. to nature as possible. So the only thing we haven't really hit on it is that since we keep saying get your stuff from food is... Keep it varied. I think it's a big problem a lot of people do, especially those who get very health conscious, Mm -hmm. is they eat, this is what they eat every three days. They don't really vary it too much. You know, even if it's just changing from like green peppers to red peppers. Rainbow diet. a difference in Something like a rainbow diet, Mm -hmm. yes. In a lot of what I've... Different varieties of mushrooms instead of just like shiitake or portobello. And what I'm putting in my book here is definitely, in the intro, is talking about one diet is not... All. They all right. work, but because right. they all work like that, they don't work at all. Because you're doing just that, and when you hit what you want, you stop. Mm-hmm. You know, keto, for instance. I was keto what, for like three, four years, something yeah, like that. Yeah, just about. And then starting to realize this is not the hundred percent way because this is a right. treatment. This mm-hmm. is a pharmaceutical way, if you would. I don't have seizures. 
Right. I don't have high levels of body fat. Right. I like the way it made me feel in terms of um, long-term exercise, but I have some exogenous uh, ketones, mm-hmm. and they help me just fine. Right. And they do give a boost. Absolutely. Right. And I like to go that way. So you take a bit of everything and you throw it together and that is a lifestyle. It's 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 a a true balance. You're absolutely right. You know, know, keto, paleo, Mediterranean, you know, change it up. Not every diet, low carb is not for for everybody and and nor do you just want to eat low carb for forever. You know, so you do want, you do want to vary it up like Mm -hmm. you said. I find the carbs that I get are from vegetables mm-hmm. just eating a ton of vegetables mm-hmm. and before you know it they actually add up they do they, they really do and then throw in a sweet potato yeah. mm-hmm. throw in a little sweet potato <laughs> more yeah. low glycemic and that's mm-hmm. the way I like to stay is low glycemic the best possible that's yeah. right yeah Mr. Whole Truth any parting thoughts for us and nothing but the truth <laughs> yeah <laughs> whole is my body and soul I, t- close to nature I, to me stick to real food Is it, stick to real food yes there's paleo there's keto there's this and that Real food. If man made it, don't eat it. It's probably not good. When we when we mess with things, uh, we tend to screw them up. To me, nature is perfect just the way she is. Certain things are supposed to be in our bodies. Certain poisonous mushrooms we're not supposed to eat. Nature is perfect. Use nature. Stick to nature. And you're probably going down the right road. Beauty brains, bro. I said it's all about balance. <laughs> <laughs> I just like hearing you talk. So. <laughs> all right, then. This is the wrap up. This is the wrap up. If you've enjoyed what you've heard today, tell five friends. I mean, I'm past this tell two friends stage, so tell five of your friends. And Why then, not ten? And then they'll have five friends, and then they'll tell five friends. <laughs> so, yeah. There was actually a commercial about that in the 70s. Was there? Yes. What was, that? What was the 70s? It was a like? shampoo y thing, and you know, you <laughs> tell friends. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Then for another week, this is your mad scientist, Jim. We will be doing a live feed from Palmerton, Pennsylvania, Saturday on the Spartan Run. So tune in and enjoy. Your support has been appreciated throughout this entire training process, and I am forever grateful. So I am out. Dr. Mike, it's been fun as always. I'm out. Beauty Brains Braun is out. Dr. Dan, rejuvenated. John Levine, Whole Truth Health. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.